So let's look at the default folders folder structure, which is created by Maven. So in our last module, when we created this Hello World application, we briefly looked at the folder structure. And so these are the hierarchies of folders which are created uh, in a Maven project. So one is the source main Java and one is the source test Java. Then there is the pom.xml file which create which uh, contains all your dependencies and plugins. And then there is a target folder, so which is used to store all your uh, HTML reports or reports of various other formats. So it's uh, recommended in Maven to uh, store all your Java classes within the source main Java. So the app application related code, um, the actual code, it should be kept under source main Java and the source test Java should contain all your test classes. So like your Cucumber tests, your integration tests, uh, in written in any language or your unit tests, right? So all types of tests should be kept in the source test Java. So this way you can manage your code better uh, and it is structured properly, right? Now uh, let's have a look at the target folder, which is also created uh, in your inside your project, right? So it contains all the uh, different kinds of reports which are generated from different plugins or from your uh, J unit classes or your Cucumber classes. So uh, when I go to your project and I sh go and show in Explorer, it will show me uh, my all the different directors which are created inside my project application, right? So there is source, there is main and test, and then outside there is target, right? So all the compiled classes are kept here. So this is the compiled class for Hello World. Then, yeah, these are the generated sources. This is the Maven status, comp so Maven compiler plugin. Uh, so. So, and when you uh, when you have you are using some kind of um, test framework, then the respective HTML reports or XML reports will be created here and kept in the target folder. Right. So that's what is uh, the default folder structure of Maven and what it contains. So in the next video, so we will see how the POM structure looks like.